Susanna. Hey, uh, I'm going to try to get real quick into the point on this one today. Uh, there's not, uh, you know, I try to keep my videos as short as possible. It doesn't always happen. Um, that said, this is an advanced lesson. I'm going to, uh, you know, pretty. it's tabbed out the way that I play it. So if you're looking for something that's really close to the melody and to develop your own style uh, for this song, uh, I did a beginner lesson that's pretty straight melody. Um, so there's always a free tab in the video description for those particular videos. So... Uh, check that one out, get the tab, uh, but if you like the way that I've arranged it here, you want to play it, then stay tuned. So we're in technically double D, so you're going to tune your banjo double C, slap your capo on, hook your drone up to A, and uh, just wanted to say, hey, in this one, there is a, a, a link in the, the video description for not only the tab, but a couple ways to support the channel. Uh, if you can't support financially, at the very least, please give me a like. Uh, not that I'm not monetized or anything. I just like to, for there to be more free lessons out there for people to find. So let's get into Oh Susanna. Okay, so wardrobe change. Uh, went out to see the eclipse and it was hotter uh, than it was earlier today when I recorded the first segment of this video. So let's get down to business here with Oh Susanna. Okay, we're going to start with a drop thumb. So you know that's four notes. We're gonna skip notes one and three. I found that sometimes I do end up kicking off with that first note, but um, it's not really a conscious decision, probably more uh, with me just being sloppy and sometimes hitting it when I don't mean to. So you're gonna do a drop thumb, you're gonna do a slide from two to four, so like this. Well, that, I jumped the gun, I hit that. G, so, so we're gonna go. It's two strikes after that, and then a pull off from the second fret to open, skip. That'd be like the strike of your next bum ditty. Skip your second motion, pop. So we have. Now on the fourth fret. So uh, again, if you wanna play the skips, go for it. This is just the way that I play it you know so uh, I might have mentioned it earlier in the video but I did a beginner lesson for this so if you're looking for just really the melody and how to play this uh check that out and just just go in the video description and there's a a, a link to the tab it's all free so um that at least will give you a basis to play this um in your own style so we do that this is just a single strike and then we're gonna open and then, so that's a bum ditty. You only want to hit these three middle notes. Oh, banjo's a little out of tune. Um, unless you're going to fret down here, because that's the full chord. So you go from, you know, it's technically, it's a C position, but it's a D chord, to very different sound. So make sure if you're not, you know, accurate enough to just hit those three, make sure you're fretting. So... That's just a single strike, but you're going to do a quick drop thumb down to two. Right. Open. And you're going to hammer on the whole G chords. So that's why there's a grayed out two there, because it's an alternate string hammer on. So you're just striking the low, uh, technically D, D string, you know, whatever, or tuned to. Don't think too much about it. Your low string. So. So it's like a, and this big brush is actually the strike of your bum ditty. So all together, that first whole section out there, it's like, you know, the first line of tab and like the next like quarter of line. So we go. Okay. So, then I do this quick. Oops. Ah, hold on. It's really hard to slow this stuff down sometimes when I'm using playing it so quick. 
So it's like a triple hammer on, but with one strike. You just. And then a drop thumb. And I actually seem to play those notes a lot. So, instead of skipping them, rather. And then you're gonna do this. It's like the same thing we did before, like a pull off is the strike of your bum ditty. And then four. Now we're gonna go full G chord, open. So this is pretty easy, so. Okay, so you're gonna repeat that, you know, was it like maybe twice for the verse? Then we're gonna get to the chorus. So we're gonna do another slide where we're gonna go from two to five this time. So. So this one's tricky. So the, the, real, the notes here for this like F chord, if we were, because this is an F, we're gonna play like technically it's, G since we're K boat, but like if you're thinking of positions in double C, this is an F note. So an F chord looks like this. So you see here, second fret G is, um, you know, part of that chord. So you got to be careful when you do this. When you go, you can skip if you'd like, um, or if you're real, you know, dexterous, you could do like a and bring this finger down as you slide. But I just found like, I mean, and not to my own horn, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, seasoned player. And with, even with a capo, like just, it, it seemed a little unnecessary to go to all that trouble. So what, what I do is I just kind of skip it and just go. So then I do a drop thumb after that. Oops, I'm sorry. Now, if you wanted to add a note here, you can with this open C, because that would be, you know, in the chord, so. Okay, so. So this is, oh, Suze, and then we're going to hammer on. We're going to actually hammer on the second fret. Suppose I didn't write it in there. I, maybe I'll change it uh, before I pu publish this, but I, I just pretty much am hammering on the whole chord. So. Like that brush is your first motion of your bum ditty of the three motions. Typically, you know, you do strike, brush, pop. In this case, we're gonna do like a brush, skip, pop. So. Oh, Susanna. Now you're going to go hammer on, and then you're going to quickly, not a pull off, but you're just going to have to lift this finger quick because we're going straight into a drop thumb. So you go like this. Because the, the melody is like, don't you cry for me. So we're going to go. So we're, is the. Previously, when we wrapped it up where we did that hammer on, we did a like, so, where there's a skip in there. We're not doing that this time. We're striking. It's got a similar tag on the end of it, but we're going to strike this again because we're going to quickly do that double hammer on again.
Awesome. Let's take that slowly um, from just the top of the part B. So we're gonna go, if I can even play it. Okay, um, I'll do a slow playthrough here um, and then we'll wrap this up. So uh, there's a 99% chance that I slip up, so just bear with me. Hey, it's a free lesson, what do you want? So. So really through the verse, I mean, you just can kind of vamp on the chords. You can throw a little melody in there without a lot of the flair. I mean, you could do like a... Come from, I always say West Virginia, that's where I'm from. So. Come from West Virginia. Come from West Virginia with banjo on my something like that you, you can do your oh Susanna don't you cry for me you know welcome from West Virginia with my banjo on my knee or you could just really vamp the chords come from West Virginia with my banjo on my knee going to Louisiana boys my true for to see oh Susanna don't you cry for me or is it Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. I come from West Virginia with my banjo, ban banjo on my knee. Something like that. Uh, so, uh, let's wrap this thing up. All right, y'all, there you have it. That is the advanced claw hammer version of Oh, Susanna. Uh, felt kind of disjointed in this lesson. Um, just been busy trying to, you know, I don't know, work, raise kids, do all that fun stuff. So... Sometimes I'm just trying to make sure I get a lesson out every once in a while. I took a brief pause over the holidays, so I appreciate anybody that, you know, I know some folks, you know, learn a lot off of these, and uh, uh, I don't mean to keep anybody waiting with new material, but, um, you know, uh, it's kind of just, you know, a, a passion project hobby that I do here. Um, not sure how many people even listen to the end of these, so maybe I'm just talking to myself. Um, anyhow... Again, if you'd like to support the channel, there are ways to do so financially in the uh, video description. There's a PayPal and a Venmo. Uh, helps a guy keep all these instruments strung up. I've got my kids' instruments now. I've got a guitar for my son, for my daughter. My daughter also has a fiddle now. So um, it's quite a little budget to keep all that up. So that kind of thing goes a long way um, for a hardworking dad. Uh, but again, the whole point of the channel was to put more free information, more free music education out there into the ether. Had a lot of people that showed me a lot of stuff when I was younger uh, that, you know, they never asked for money for. So it's kind of just my way of giving back. Anyhow, if you felt this lesson helped you in any way and it could help other people, at the very least, please give me a like. It uh, I'm not monetized at all. I don't get any money off YouTube. Um, it just puts me out there into the algorithms more uh, to help people find more free music lessons. So I'll stop talking and actually get some work done today. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching.